Hello and welcome to the RC Scrapyard How To Series. So I've been asked by a number of customers how exactly do you fit the wheel extenders that I sell on eBay. So I thought it's probably uh, worth spending a few minutes to go through on a video exactly how to fit them uh, and give you an idea of how they work. So what I've actually got here, this is a very old uh, HPR chassis. This one's going to be stripped for uh, spares and, uh, and be put on eBay. But I thought I'd use this as an example to show you how to fit the wheel extender. So all an extender does is it enables the wheels to move outwards so that if you want to fit a bigger body shell on, or maybe when you turn the wheels, the wheels uh, foul the body shell, you can you can move them out quite easily. Uh, they fit on the front and the rear. Uh, they work on cars and lorries, or, or trucks, I should say, um, and buggies. Um, and they're all for the one-tenth. The ones I sell are for the one-tenth series, so they have a 12 mil hex. Um, as far as distance is concerned, distance is come as either a 15 millimeter, that's a 15 millimeter one there, uh, 20 millimeter or 25 millimeter. And that's just the amount of um, spacing that, that comes out. So how far you want the, the wheels to come out. So today we're gonna to be using a 20 millimeter one just to uh, give you an idea of how it works. And it consists of three parts. So each, each extender consists of three parts. That's your, your wheel extender. Uh, on one end, you've got a hex. And on the other end, you've got a hex with the slots for the pins. I'll try and show you that to you there. Um, put it in the light, there we go. That's better, there it is. Um, you've also got a new pin, just in case you lose the old pin. Um, I'll just try and put it out of the bag for you. There we are, that's a, a, a new pin. See it in the palm of my hand there. And then you've got a new nut, a new wheel nut. This takes the place of the old wheel nut. Now on some cars, you will need to drill the wheels out. So I'll try and show you how to do that as well. So what we're gonna do is, on our HPI, we're going to take the wheel off and we're going to extend it out by 20 millimeters. So for this, I'm going to use a wheel removable tool, which is just a standard nitro tool. If you don't have one of these, then a seven mil M7 socket is all you need. And we're just going to take the, the wheel nut off from there. Okay, we'll take the wheel off and underneath the wheel, oh, it's stuck in there on that one. Underneath the wheel, normally you have a, um, a hex adapter, which is that bit in there, it's stuck in the wheel on this one. Sometimes it comes off, sometimes it uh, sticks in the wheel. Um, but that's going to come off anyway for the time being uh, and you've also got the pin that goes through the axle there's the pin there that goes through the axle i'm going to take this one out and we're going to put a new pin in okay so from there it's very easy we literally put a new pin into the axle that's in place like that the wheel extender goes on top making sure that the the cross goes over the pin so that it's in place like that and then the wheel, I just need to push this piece out of here. Let me grab a tool to do that. There we are. That's the, uh, the, the hex bit I was talking about. But the wheel with the hex adapter there now goes on top of here. And it just fits on top in the, in the, 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 the hex spacing. Uh, you can see now, if I try to put the, the wheel nut on, uh, it can't fit because the hole in the wheel is too small. So all I need to do is take a five millimeter drill. Don't go any bigger. But a five millimeter drill, and here's one I prepared earlier. Haha. <laughs> uh, and we're just going to drill the wheel out to five millimeters. Okay. Because there's a hole already there, it's very diff difficult to get it wrong. Uh, use drill though. Don't try and do it in, in any other way. Otherwise, you won't get it in the center. And that's it. And that just allows that to pop into there like that, which is all we need it to do. And then from there, that can screw on. Pull it all the way down. That can screw on. And I'll tighten that with a pair of pliers or with a spanner. I don't think my wheel thing will fit that. Now that needs to be a, a, a 10 mil one, which is there. That's the same as the glow plug one. There, and that's it. And then if I put that down, you can see that the wheel spacer is fitted. You can see it spaced the wheel out on this side by about um, 20 mil in that case. So it's slightly further out on the, on the steering arm than this one. And it's as easy as that. That is how to fit a, a wheel extender. It's the same for all of them, but if it's a 20, 25 or a 15 mil, it works exactly the same way. So just do the other four and that's job done. I hope that helps you. Thank you.